let's recall how getting a common denominator works. If we add 1 over k plus 1 over k plus 1, we get a common denominator of k times k plus 1. We multiply each numerator by what is missing from its denominator, to get the quantity k plus 1 over k times k plus 1 plus another quantity k over k times k plus 1. Then the final answer is 2 times k plus 1 over k times k plus 1. It's similar if we subtract 1 over k minus 1 over k plus 1. We get the same common denominator and the same terms in the numerator, only now we're subtracting. When we take k plus 1 minus k in the numerator, w get 1. So our final answer is 1 over k times k plus 1. This makes it possible to simplify a certain sum. Let's look at the sum from k equals 1 to 5 of 1 over k times k plus 1. First we need to recognize that w can rewrite 1 over k times k plus 1 as 1 over k minus 1 over k plus 1, because we just did that algebraically. Then we start writing out the terms. For k equals 1, we have 1 over 1 minus 1 over 2. For k equals 2, we have 1 over 2 minus 1 over 3. But wait a minute, those 1 over 2 terms will cancel. This keeps happening. For each term we add on, it cancels with the previous term. The only terms that don't cancel are the first and the last. We are left with 1 minus 1 over 6. If we do sum from k equals 1 to 10 of 1 over k times k plus 1, we have a similar pattern. When we start writing out the terms, things begin cancelling. Everything cancels out except for the first and last terms, and we are left with 1 minus 1 over 11. We've seen enough to notice a pattern. What happens if we consider the sum from k equals 1 to r of 1 over k times k plus 1? We have two data points. When r equals 5, the sum was equal to 1 minus 1 over 6. When r equals 10, this sum was equal to 1 minus 1 over 11. In general, this sum will be equal to 1 minus 1 over r plus 1. Now what if we are considering an infinite sum, the sum from k equals 1 to infinity of 1 over k times k plus 1? Remember that this is the same thing as taking the limit as r approaches infinity of the sum from k equals 1 to r of 1 over k times k plus 1. That expression is the same as 1 minus 1 over r, and taking the limit as r goes to infinity, the 1 over r becomes 0. So this expression is equal to 1.